Hey guys, welcome to Board Smashing. Recently, an event happened that made people realize that once again, the Sonic franchise is awful and it's probably gonna die soon. So my mission today on Board Smashing is to piss off as many Sonic slash Sega fanboys as possible to capitalize on those views. I'll start right now. Look, it's the only good platformer from the 16-bit era. <gasps> What are we destroying today? Well, I've been buying almost every Sega console I saw in thrift stores for the past few months, just waiting for an opportunity like today. And for the finale, I picked up this. I cannot wait to dig into these. So, let's get started. First up is a Model 1 Genesis that I got from Goodwill for $12.99. Probably the only successful Sega console. Actually, I'm not gonna destroy this today. I think I'll destroy it when the Sega Genesis Mini comes out. So instead, we have the Sega Genesis Model 2, which I got for $19.99, also from Goodwill. Next up, we have a Sega Game Gear from Goodwill for the low, low price of $3.99. Even Goodwill knows it's garbage, cause Game Boys are usually $15 and up there. Put in six double A's. It works, but I don't have a game. This is more fun. Now we have a Game Gear accessory, the Sega Powerback Rechargeable Battery Pack. The only reason I have this is because on another day, Goodwill was selling another Game Gear for the same price. And this thing was attached to it. I wasn't gonna buy it, but it was the same day I was trying to buy the Model 2 Genesis. And the lady at checkout wouldn't let me use a 20% off coupon, because for the coupon to work, the total had to be $20 or over. So I bought that Game Gear too. But instead of destroying it, I just traded it in for $25 store credit at a used video game store. And I'm left with this. I am curious about what rechargeable batteries looked like in the 90s though. Hmm. Well that answers my question. Good thing there was no safety risk doing this. For the last console, it's the Sega Dreamcast I got at Savers for $14.99. It probably was gonna be a success, but then the PS2 happened, so it became another failure. Then Sega went out of the console game for good. Thanks, Sony! The rock hit my leg and then landed on my foot. Ah. Now, 
the finale. The Sonic Mania Collector's Edition I got at Bookman's for only $35 because the game wasn't included. When I tweeted about this board smashing on Twitter, follow me by the way, Sonic slash Sega fans seem to be the most upset about these items being destroyed because apparently Sonic Mania is the best Sonic game in 20 years. Kinda sad the only way a Sonic game can get good reviews is to stay in the past, graphics and gameplay wise. Uh, that's not true. There was like a whole two 3D Sonic games that got over a 70 on Metacritic like eight or nine years ago. What an accomplishment. What's in this collector's edition? First, we have a useless metal card that somehow feels cheap. Yeah. Put this in your wallet for no reason. If you want the ladies. No, that won't work. No, that won't work. Yes. Ah. Uh. Now will it bend? How much can I get for the metals in this thing? Next, we have a fake game cartridge that has a ring inside. There's no better way to get your girlfriend to run far away after proposing. Man, how fat does Sega think Sonic fans are? Nah, would still be too loose. What a bust! It won't fit! How much are the medals worth in this? Actually, this is pretty solid. It's probably worth a bunch. I'm gonna pawn it later. Oh, the best thing in here for eating in case you've been exposed to the Sonic fan base. I'll save this for later. What is this thing? <laughs> Lastly, we have a statue of Sonic standing on a Model 1 Genesis. At least he knows his place. Again, stuck in the past. There's a battery cover. Let's unscrew that. <gasps> Get some batteries from the Game Gear, put them in. Now what happens when we flip the power switch? Sega! That's neat. What happens if we turn the volume slider up all the way? Sega! Ah! My ears! Time to exterminate this blue rat! We need the best tool for this. Well, that was quick and easy. Every hero needs a Genesis. And that concludes Board Smashing, Sega, and Sonic shit. I'm keeping this box though, because it's useful for keeping the Roomba from getting stuck under my chair. And if I'm ever forced to watch the Sonic movie. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! I do not want this to come alive in the middle of the night and kill me, so... Even the dog's scared. The power of good games compels you. The power of good games compels you.
For those of you who want to see me destroy the Sonic movie trailer... Alright! Uh... Meow?